It's almost Friday. I'm cleaning the garden. There is a lot of things to do. I've just received a good bag of new gravel to dress the garden up a little bit more. There will be an area up here. I showed you that last time where I will build a new workshop. Then I had to put up some pedestals and some tables for more bonsai. And here is something I'm happy about it is not the the right one I got but almost the right one I have been searching for a new water jar because this one is leaking I'll give it a last chance to fix it repair it see if it can hold water if not it's just gone then this one have holes in the bottom and that is not ideal but I will uh, close them with some uh, concrete and some net and maybe some uh, epoxy to make it absolutely watertight. I wanted a bigger one. I wanted a uh, waterproof. Uh, it is a stoneware, but I wanted one that I could just pour some water up in, but they are not available. I have searched all over. This is the close I get. I will fix it. And I have a little bit smaller water jar. Maybe this will be the primary one if this is not fixable, but it is more for the aesthetics than the practical use because I have a big water tank up here where I take the water from. But I think it's a nice feature if you want a little Japanese touch for your garden. Yeah, I have some concrete. I blended a little of oxide color into it too, so it blends better with the pot. Adding some water. A little at the time and you can see now it covers up have to be this nice pasty thickness i also put a little fiber in it to strengthen it up and then to further strengthen up the holes here and the concrete so it doesn't crack and gets uh, Untied, then I will put some nets in that I formed from some uh, steel nets that I use for fences and other things. I cut out some of these. I will put them here so they cover the hole. I made three of them. Press them in here tightly. And then the last one over here. Turn the pot over to fix them inside a little to the side so they are attached to the bottom then I will add the concrete and I will be sure it covers the whole I will turn the pot and do the same from the other side and then I will return to this part to finish it up a little Better. It will not have exactly the same color as the pot, but as long as it is not very shiny and looking gray, that's fine. And here at the bottom, it doesn't matter so much how it looks, as long as it works. And back at the inside, I will smoothen this out a little. I smeared the full bottom of the pot so it has the same nice color all around, so it isn't that obvious that it has been repaired. Of course, it is visible if you look closely. I will let it dry up and add some epoxy layer over this so it tightens totally. This way, I have a new water bowl for the future as a decoration in the garden and a little practical as well but not the main reason I just love to have this feature in my garden so it looks nice because that's also part of the bonsai journey here in at Kisetsu and the aesthetics surrounding the bonsai is as important for me as the bonsai themselves
it is a nice place to be and that's what I love. I will let this dry out for a week and let's see if it can hold water. If you wonder what else I'm doing, I have moved these granite stones we use for a feature in the garden later on. So if you think I'm lazy and only can lift show him, well, you're absolutely wrong. In the garden at the moment, it really is time to enjoy the leaves of the Japanese maples. It was shown the wonderful colors when they burst out with the new leaves. We will look into the caretaking of extending branches in spring at the seasonal care theme at, that we release May the 1st. This and a lot more how and why, does, why do trees grow like they do and why don't they just adapt to the environment they are in? Why do leaves at Japanese maple get sunburned? Looking at the pruning back some trees for shohin size. We will be looking at air layering and the extended version of what we already have been talking about in the previous episode. We'll catch up on that. There are questions about growing conditions, why trees grow like they do. We're looking into that and a lot of Q&A. Next episode released May 1st and much more. Here are a few pictures from the garden as it looks today.